Here in this question, it says a right angle triangle. That means a triangle ABC whose sides are mentioned as 5, 12, and 13 centimeter. Uh, 13 being the hypotenuse has to be, is revolved about the side 12 along the, uh, here the axis of rotation is 12. We have to find the volume of this solid so obtained. So for that, let's make a right angle tri uh, triangle first. Say I make a, make a right angle triangle. And I say, if I name it ABC, where the 90 degrees say over here, this being the base, it is rotated about the side 12. So this is important to remember that the side about which it is rotated should be taken as the altitude or the height. I repeat, the side along which it should be rotated should be taken as the height. Well, hypotenuse being the longest side has to be 13 centimeter. Now, once it is rotated, it will appear like a cone. Let me show you how does if it rotate it, like say if I'm rotating it, about this side, it will give the impression of a cone. Let's say joining this, it should give you the impression of a cone, right? Should give you. Now, what we know here from this informations that we have, number one, we have the radius at its clear radius as five centimeter. The height here is uh, 12 centimeter. As we are concerned with the volume, so we are ignoring this slant height. Now we have to find the volume. So for that, we'll be have to apply the volume of a cone, which is one over three pi r square h. Now replacing pi with 22 over seven, and the radius, as I can see, it's five, so five into five, that multiplied by 12. We can reduce this three with this four times. This will give you 100, and this is 22. So therefore, we'll say this as the volume in this case is 2200 over seven centimeter cube. That's the volume of the case one. Once we have calculated the volume of case one, what we have to do next is to calculate the volume in the second case. When we read the second part, what does it say? It says if the same triangle is rotated about the side five, that means this time the side along with its rota rotated or the excess of symmetry is going to be five. So what we are going to do, we are going to replace these values. That means this time the height will become five and the radius as 12, right? So this is what comes as the difference here. That is the radius and height will get swapped because this is rotated about the side 12. So the side about which it is rotated, the side about which it is rotated is taken as the, so the radius has now increased and the height has is decreased now. All right. So now, as it's not going to influence the slant height, so now we are going to find the, right, all information first. At this time, the height is five centimeter and the radius being 12 centimeter. So we are again calculating the volume, applying the same formula, one over three pi r square h. This is one over three pi replaced by 22 over seven, the radius, which is 12 this time, 12 into 12 and height is five. Now for, calcul for calculations, I can see this is divisible by this by four times. So this will give you, this is uh, 48. Yeah, that is, this will 240 into 22. That should give you five to eight zero over seven centimeter cube. In the final part, they have one more part to find out is to find the ratio of the two solid. So in order to find the ratio, we have to divide V1 over V2, like say these two ratios, the required ratio in this case will be this volume that divided by this volume. So therefore, let's write down the required ratio here is going to be 
that is double two double zero divided by seven dividing is same as multiplying with the reciprocal so we'll write like this and now as you can see that this and this get cancelled there one zero is get cancelled this is two two zero over five twenty eight we can reduce it further with a five five one times three times two times five five times and five times it's divisible by 11 so we'll do further divide it 11 uh, one times and two times 11 five times so the required ratio is going to be 5 is to 12 that should be our final answer and the most important part as i said here is you have to keep in mind that this axis around which it is rotated becomes the height whatever be the axis Right. In the first case, it was revolved about this side 12. It was revolved about this side 12. So I took 12 as the height. And similarly, in the next part, it is revolved about this side. So the axis of symmetry, as it changes, it will become height becomes 5 and the base will be 12. Well, slant height is uh, does not change because is the longest side. And even by uh, uh, changing the axis of symmetry, the slant height does not change.